I suspect Route LLM is much bigger than most people realize. I'm surprised how few people are talking about this. Route LLM is a framework where you can classify prompts before sending them to a large language model to determine which model is best to send that prompt to. And if you're asking yourself, okay, great, why is that important? Well, here's the thing. You don't need to send every single prompt to the highest cost frontier model, GPT-40. In fact, you could send most use cases to more efficient, smaller, and lower cost models, saving you a ton and increasing speed as well. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up today. This is gonna be a tutorial for how to use Route LLM. If you're building any type of AI application, you need to know this. So this is the GitHub repo for Route LLM. I'll drop it in the description below. But before I get into it, I wanna re-emphasize how powerful this really is and how this further expands on my strong belief that AI is going to be run on edge devices, meaning they're gonna be run locally. And Route LLM allows for that. Let's look at Apple intelligence. Apple rolled their own model, which can run locally on your iPhone. And any more sophisticated or complex prompts, they will outsource to chat GPT, but only when absolutely necessary. And that is exactly what Route LLM can do for you. It will maintain 90% of the quality of GPT-40 while being 80% cheaper. I went over their research paper already and now let me show you how it works first. So I wrote up a little script and we're going to be using a strong model and a weak model. And anytime we can use the weak model, we will use that first. And the weak model is much less expensive and much faster because we're using Grok. So let me show you how it works. I imported an OpenAI API key, a Grok API key. I set up everything. By the way, I'll go through all of this line by line a little bit later in the video, but I just want to show you it working really quickly. Then we allow the MF router, which is essentially a classification model classifying the prompt to determine which LLM it should be sent to. Then we send the message using an OpenAI API compatible API call. We get the response. It chooses which model to send it to, and then it gives us that response. So let's take a look. So here, the content or the prompt is simply hello. And we don't need a frontier model for this. This is the most basic use case and any large language model can answer it. So let's run it and let's see what happens. So there we go. Message content. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with? Or would you like to chat? A perfect response. And it decided to use Grok's Llama 3 8B model. So extremely fast and extremely cheap. And we can run this locally too, not just the weak model, but both models. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Now let's give it a harder prompt. So here we're gonna say, write the game snake in Python, something that I would hope it routes to GPT-4. So let's hit play again. Again, same exact code, but it's deciding which model to use. And the classifier model is running locally. So it essentially costs nothing. And you can see this time it's taking a little bit longer. So it's likely going to GPT-4. And of course the output is much much longer, so it's gonna take a little bit more time to complete. All right, there we go. So you can see model name, GPT-4. So it knew to use the Frontier model for a more complicated prompt. And here's the snake game. I'm not gonna test it, but the point is we had a more complicated prompt and it knew to use GPT-4. So what does this actually give us? Well, essentially 90% of the use cases, we don't need that Frontier model. So we're gonna save a ton of time and a ton of cost. So now that you've seen how it works, let me show you how to install it, and then I'm gonna walk you through the script that I wrote. And the best part is, you can drop this into any code base. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new Conda environment. So I'm gonna type Conda create dash n route python equals 3.11 and then hit enter. Now I already have one named that, so I'm gonna replace it, but you won't have to do that. Then hit enter once more. So once that environment is ready to go, we're gonna copy this code right here, conda activate route, paste it in and hit enter. And now we can see it is active because it says so right there. And the installation really could not be any easier. It's simply this code, pip install in quotes, route LLM, square bracket, serve comma eval, close square bracket, and then quotations again. So hit enter and it should install everything for you, no problem. Okay, once that's done, you are pretty much done. So let's look at the code now, and I am gonna revoke any API keys that I show in the code before I publish this video. So the first thing we're gonna do is import OS, which will allow us to set the environment variables. So the way you think about it is, there's a strong model and a weak model. It's gonna to try to use the weak model, which typically is the cheaper model, whenever it can, and if it can't, 
then it's going to use the stronger model, which is also more expensive. So here I've decided to use the OpenAI GPT-4 as the strong model and a Grok Llama 3 as the weak model. So I set the environment variables right there. Then I import the libraries that we need. So from route LLM.controller, import controller. Now you can see this is still underlined and this has nothing to do with the actual route LLM code. So what you wanna do is to switch to another environment and then switch back and now it is no longer underlined in yellow, so it should work. Next, we need to create the controller and that is going to be essentially what looks like an OpenAI client. The controller will take a router and we're gonna use the MF router. Now, you can actually use different routers, you can tune your own router. There's a lot of complexities there that I'm not gonna get into because the standard default router seems to work just fine. Then we're going to define our strong model and we're gonna say it is GPT-4 and this is the model name that the API knows. Then for the weak model, we're going to type grok slash llama 3 8 b 81 Nine, two. Now this grok slash is required because that's the only way that light LLM, which is the LLM service that is kind of behind the scenes, knows which base URL to send to. Now before I move on, route LLM out of the box does actually support a number of endpoints. Let me show you that really quickly. So right here, you can use local models, which I'll show you in a moment. You can have Anthropic, Gemini, Amazon Bedrock, Together AI, and any scale. And of course you could pretty much use any LLM endpoint as long as it's supported by light LLM. And as you can see here on the left side, they support a lot. Now back to the code, we have all this set up and now we're just going to create a completions just like we would with an OpenAI API. So we have response equals client.chat.completions.create. And then right here, rather than specifying like GPT-4 or Llama 3, we're actually going to use the router name. And remember, this client is not an OpenAI client. This is actually a route LLM client. So here we specify the model name for the router. And then for messages, we treat it exactly the same. Role user and then content you can put whatever your prompt is. So here I said, write a snake game in Python. Then the rest of this is just taking the response JSON and outputting it like we've seen in the terminal. And that's it, with just a few lines of code, you could potentially save 80% of your LLM budget. Now, if you're a large enterprise and you're spending a million dollars a month on API calls to various services, you probably also aren't intelligently routing to the appropriate LLM depending on your prompt use case. And as I mentioned, it turns out most prompts can go to simple, cheap models. So just a few lines of code, you can get this running and have a huge reduction in your API bill. And by the way, I'll create a gist and I'll drop that in the description below for all the scripts that you're seeing here. Now, what if you wanna run this locally and you wanna use GPT-4 as the strong model and a local model as the weak model? Here's how to do it. It's actually very simple. So the first thing you need to do is install Olama. And it's really simple. Just go to olama.ai, install it on your machine. It really couldn't be easier. Then open up your terminal and type Olama run llama3 or whichever model that you want to use. It'll download it and it will have it running. Once you've done that, I switched back to VS Code and I removed the Grok API key because we no longer need it. And the only difference is for the weak model, all we say is olama underscore chat slash llama3. And that's it. That's literally it. You don't have to change anything else. It is so simple. Now let's run it. So I'm simply going to prompt hello and let's see what happens. And this is using Llama 3 locally. And there we go. Message content, hello, it's nice to meet you. Is there something I can help you with or would you like to chat? And it is using Olama Llama 3. Now again, if I gave it something more complicated, it would use GPT-4. So now we have essentially a free large language model to handle all of the most basic use cases, which tend to be about 80 to 90% of all use cases. And then it will use and outsource it to GPT-4 only whenever necessary. Let me go over the benefits one more time because I am so excited about this. Decreased latency, significantly decreased cost. One thing that a lot of people don't talk about, reducing platform risk. Now you are no longer beholden to open AI. You can build a collection of models that work on your behalf and abstract that away from your actual business logic. Increased security, 
increased privacy because you can essentially run a lot of these queries locally. So you don't need to send them off to a cloud provider. And there are other benefits as well. Now I'm just getting started digging into how powerful this really is. And I'm gonna give you a hint. A couple of days ago, I posted something on Twitter where I said I had this incredible idea for an enterprise business. And this is a hint at that. And let me give you one more hint. And by the way, I'm gonna create an entire video essentially giving away this idea and showing you how I would pitch it to you. And hopefully one of you will build it because I really wanna see this made. Imagine for the weak model, instead of just taking a single large language model and just accepting it, imagine if you started using techniques like mixture of agents and all of a sudden you trained your classification model, the router, to know that the mixture of agents is actually much more powerful than previously thought. So you have this mixture of agents endpoint that can handle the vast majority of all of your use cases and only when absolutely necessary do you actually outsource it to GPT-4 or any other frontier model. Super exciting. I cannot wait to continue to learn more about this technology. And make sure you subscribe because I am going to make a video all about this idea and I really think there's something there and I hope you build it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.